Maybe we could go swimming or something. Mother tells me you like to swim. How does Mother know what I like to do? I guess we read the same gossip columns. Oh, that. Rome. Yeah, I really like to swim. I think we might get along very in well. In case you're interested, I was pushed into that fountain. Without any clothes on? With all my clothes on. The newspaper that ran that story happens to be a rival of my father's paper. You're just a poor, innocent victim of circumstances, huh? Well, I'm neither poor nor innocent, but the truth of that particular... Truth is, you're running around with a pretty wild crowd, isn't it? Well, yes, that's the truth. But I was pushed into that fountain, and that's the truth, too. Uh-huh. Do you really know Annie Hayworth? No. At least I didn't until I came up here. So you didn't go to school again? No. And you didn't come up here to see her? No. You were lying. Yes, I was lying. What about the letter you wrote me? Is that a lie, too? Yeah, I wrote the letter. Well, what did it say? It said, Dear Mr. Brenner, I think you need these lovebirds after all. They may help your personality. That's what it said. But you tore it up? Yes. Why? Because it seemed stupid and foolish. Like jumping into a fountain in Rome. I told you what happened. You don't expect me to believe that. Oh, do I don't give a damn what you believe. I'd still like to see you. Why? I think it might be fun. Well, that might have been good enough in Rome, but it's not good enough now. It is for me. Well, not for me. What do you want? I thought you knew. I want to go through life jumping into fountains naked. Good night. Good night.